One of the most common roles in Salesforce is being a Salesforce functional consultant or a Salesforce admin. Now, when it comes to this role, you don't have to be a technical person at all. You really just need to be able to have an understanding of the platform and willingness to learn. So let's dive in into what you need to know about this role. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Now, if you guys haven't seen it already, make sure you go back and check out the overall in terms of what are the different types of roles that are available within Salesforce. This one specifically is diving into the functional consultant. So we'll start off with the day in life of a functional consultant. Now, it really depends on which phase and part of the project it is. So at the very beginning of the project, you're really gonna be focusing on you know, understanding the client's pain points. So you'll be speaking and interacting with the customer to be able to understand where they're really struggling with. Now, during the middle of the project is where you're gonna actually get really hands on. So you'll be actually configuring the actual Salesforce platform for the client to make sure that it meets the needs and requirements of the client. Finally, at the end of it, you really gotta be able to train the user when it comes to using the Salesforce platform, right? So not everyone's gonna be really great at using the Salesforce platform. So a part of your responsibility is actually the training and support after configuring the Salesforce platform. So what are some tips that I could give you if you really want to get into just Salesforce in general? Well, the first tip is definitely check out the trailheads. Now, if you go into their website and you go through the trailheads, you'll see there's heaps and heaps of training materials all completely free. And there's all these modules and learning and career paths that you just follow. People have also designed it and created their own modules and what they think is relevant. So you can also check those out as well. Now I've gone through them and they're super easy to learn. They're super interactive. And I'm not gonna lie, it really does help you understand the platform. The second advice that could give to you is actually join the community. So even if you're not really working for a Salesforce company yet or even a partner, you can already get started to get involved in the community. Really start talking to people. Now people who have joined Salesforce have this personality and this trait where they're just willing to help you. So join those forums, ask them questions, get involved and you'll really be able to understand what it's like to be a Salesforce functional consultant before you even become one. Now, one of the biggest misconception or myth that I had going into this was that, you know, if you join Salesforce, you're just gonna be pigeonholed into, you know, the Salesforce platform and that you wouldn't be able to transition into any sort of different other roles. So this is completely wrong. So it's a massive myth, guys, okay? So don't think that just because you're a Salesforce functional consultant that you can only stay within the Salesforce. Although Salesforce is a very, very big platform and has different roles, you're not gonna be pigeonholed in there. The skills that you learn from just being a Salesforce functional consultant is vast, right? Like you can become a business analyst from it. It's extremely versatile. Even though you're not a technical person, you actually be able to develop those understandings in terms of the coding and the people that you work with because you're working with developers in general, you're configuring the Salesforce platform and you're really understanding what your clients are. So, you know, you pick up skills like workshopping, understanding clients' pain points, a bit of developing skills and also just training and support, right? So you can literally go anywhere from after being in Salesforce. So do I think that this role is gonna be relevant within the next five to 10 years? I definitely think so. Now, the Salesforce platform itself does something that I really like in the company, which is they do updates three times every single year. Now, this is to make sure that they stay competitive with all the other companies. Now, having these updates is to make sure that they you know, provide those integrations with all those new edge technologies that are coming out, right? So if any company is doing that, they're definitely gonna stay relevant. For when I assess whether a role is gonna be relevant in the next five to 10 years, I like to think about, well, whether the underlying technology technology or the platform is gonna still be here. And considering that Salesforce is continuously improving, continuously in growing, and making sure that they're doing the updates that are required, I definitely think it's going to stay for the next five to 10 years at least, right? So if this platform is going to continuously grow, then the role itself should always be here. Again, it doesn't really matter in terms of being pigeonholed into here if that's one of your myths or misconceptions, because the skills that you gain in terms of workshopping, project management is still gonna be relevant in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed this video where I deep dive into the Salesforce functional consult. Now remember, if you haven't seen it already, make sure you go check out the other video where I cover all the different types of roles in general in terms of the Salesforce platform, which is the number one CRM company. If you guys wanna see a deep dive into all the other Salesforce roles, make sure that you like and subscribe because I'll be posting them real soon. Make sure if you're interested or curious about any other roles, make sure you comment it down below. See ya.